Let's look at the steps for multiplying and dividing decimals. First, we're going to do multiplying. So when you multiply, you are going to multiply without worrying about the decimal yet. And I'll give you an example of what that looks like when we do this guided practice together. But when you first multiply, you're not going to stress out about the decimal. This is not like adding and subtracting when you have to have the decimals lined up. So when you multiply, just multiply as if it's not there yet. Once you get your product, then you're going to count the total number of decimal places in the factors. So the total number. And then you're going to place the decimal point in the answer using the same number of decimal places that, was in the, that were in the factors. And you're going to count from the right, moving left. So let's work through this guided practice slowly and follow all these steps to see how this works out. So we have 13 and 4 hundredths times 2 and 6 tenths. And I did say don't worry about the decimal, but definitely still put it in your problem. So we're going to multiply this just as if it was a traditional 4 digit by 2 digit number. So we have 24, 0 plus 2, 6 times 3 is 18, carry the 1, and we have 7. Since we're moving over a place value, we're going to add that placeholder right here. Cross these out because we've used them. 2 times 4 is 8. 2 times 0 is 0. 2 times 3 is 6. And then 2 times 1 is 2. Now we're going to add. And notice I still have not done anything with the decimal yet. So we're going to add straight down. Now this is where the decimal will come into play. So if you look in your factors, this decimal right here is two spaces in. It's two spaces from the left. This decimal is three spaces from the left. So you're going to have a total of three decimal places in your answer down here. So we're going to move over one, two, three, and your decimal will go right here. So this answer is 33 and 904 thousands, thousands, excuse me. So this says try it down here and ideally you should do these on your own. So if you want to pause this video, work through these four problems and then come back, um, you'll be able to see me go through them with you. If you need a little bit of extra practice, just go ahead and keep on watching and then pause when you feel like you're ready to try it on your own. So six and 15 hundredths times five tenths. We're going to multiply just as if that decimal was not there. And this one's pretty simple because you only have um, to multiply with one place value. And I'm going to count. I'll switch pen colors just so you can see. I have two spaces here and I have one space here. So that means in my answer, I'm going to move over three spaces. So my answer is three and 75 thousandths. If you think you're ready to try it by yourself, go ahead and pause. If not, let's follow along here. 14 and 6 tenths times 22 hundredths. We're going to multiply with this 2 first. And add that placeholder. Multiply with the next 2. And let's add. Now it's time to count our places. So we have one here and two here. So that means our answer, again, needs, needs three places. So the product here is going to be three and 212 thousandths. Next one, 11 and 9 tenths times one and seven tenths. Multiply nine times seven. 7 plus 6 and 7 plus 1. Add the placeholder and then you're just multiplying by 1. All right, and here we have just one place here and one place here. So that means our answer, oh, it would help if I added, right? <laughs> All right, so let's add first. 
There we go. Okay. So now our answer is going to have two places, or the decimal is going to move over two places. So the product will be 20 and 23 hundredths. Okay, we have one more to go. So if you have not yet tried one by yourself, please go ahead and pause and see if you can get through this last one and then play to check the answer out. Okay, so we have 403 and 6 tenths times 62 hundredths. So we're going to multiply across, add the place value, or the placeholder. We're done with the one. All right, let's add. Okay, and we have one decimal place here, two decimal places here. So that means we need three down here in our answer. One, two, three. And this answer is 250 and 232 thousandths. So you can take a look back here at the whole page. If you need to um, copy down the steps or maybe you missed part of the example, go ahead and get everything copied down. And um, you can even come up with a few more practice problems on your own to practice and see, um, get it even more comfortable with this skill.